Greg's character is very, very dynamic. He grew up here, he went to school here, went off, did his stuff, and, and came back to really contribute back to the community that he grew up in. He decided he wanted to talk about a career change. I was 50 years old and looking for a rewarding career for the second part of my life, and uh, we decided uh, to make a, a garden in our yard. And right then is when I knew uh, I wanted to open up Ace Hardware. He talked about that his grandfather used to run a hardware store and he was curious about running a hardware store. And I was like, oh, okay, it's just another crazy idea. But he was very inspired and uh, we went with it. I always support him in whatever ideas he has because I know he's going to be successful with it. Loomis has been without a hardware store since um, 2008. So, you know, there was this long period where downtown Loomis was just kind of empty and vacated. Because it's such a small community, everyone was very excited about it. I teach at the local high school, and so we're really invested in the uh, Loomis community. One of our goals in opening the hardware store was to give back. So in every business model, there's always a light item to spend for marketing. And what we decided to do, instead of spend that on marketing, we were going to spend that budget on giving back to the local community and schools. In a small town like this, giving back is more important than spending the marketing. You know, during the pandemic, giving up an extra portion of profit, the 1% the that went back, that's a hard thing to do. Margins are tight, things are uh, tough. And I think the town responded when they found out about that in a, a fantastic fashion. We have given to the elementary schools, to the high schools, Burn Victims Institute. We've given to football and baseball and basketball and cheer and dance and water polo and lacrosse and the list just goes on and on. This town, we all take care of one another, we know one another, and we support one another. Everybody in the community supported us so much and the hard part about being a small town is we tend to have a fairly underfunded education systems. Whenever anybody at the school needs something, they know they can come to their local Ace Hardware and ask, and Greg usually says yes. Since opening Ace, um, Greg has been one of our key community members in stepping up to help and volunteer by contributing financially to um, our programs. This year, Delaware hosted a senior culminating event, which ended up being a senior mock interview experience. So our students had the opportunity to interview with local businesses and industry experts. We brainstormed and he came up with the idea of, we really should incentivize this for students and I'm going to contribute to a scholarship for those students that are participating. Football is really big here in Loomis. Sponsors like Ace, they get to have a certain number of people come and enjoy the Touchdown Club. Greg just called us and said, I want to be involved with the Touchdown Club, but I don't want to just be a sponsor, I want to be a partner. And he said, well, I want to, I want to be involved. I don't want to just give you money. At Del Oro, um, we have a lot of aging infrastructures, um, and one of them is our scoreboard down at the stadium and it's about 15 years old and falling apart. So Greg has decided to help out and sponsor part of our scoreboard. The contribution that they're making to the new sports board marquee um, is really going to impact our campus as well. Our community comes out to support football and they're able to see our local businesses advertised and our students highlighted and our community events highlighted on that marquee. We're gonna have a better way to communicate with our families and be able to encourage more of that collaboration. By giving back to them, it helps them give back to other people and it's just a full circle that makes a really healthy, happy community. For a business to succeed, you need the town to succeed, community to succeed, and the schools to succeed. So giving back was always a part of the, the plan. Just giving back the amount that we we're able to give back was not.